this Tuesday, and we're looking for the second day at how God speaks through Moses and Aaron to let his people go and worship the living God. And Pharaoh refuses to hear and obey the commandment. Exodus 5.1, And afterwards Moses and Aaron came and said to Pharaoh, Thus says the Lord, the God of Israel, let my people go that they may celebrate a feast to me in the wilderness. Now, remember, Moses doesn't come automatically and first uh, right out of the bot, Aaron, box, Aaron and Moses don't say, let my people go permanently. They say, let us go and worship God uh, in the wilderness. And he says, no. My beloved, please understand that when God tells us to do something, it is not a suggestion. Now, at this stage when Moses is... Uh, saying, let my people go. He's not putting any conditions on it or anything. He's just saying, God said, let my people go. And Pharaoh said, no. And, and I think we need to understand something Pharaoh didn't. And, and even as Christians and even as a society, I think one of the biggest problems we have in our society is we are quickly becoming a society of people that are being led by leaders that have abandoned God. They pay no attention to what God says about abortion. They say, pay no attention to what God says about murder. They say, pay no attention to what God has to say uh, uh, about uh, marriage and all the other things that God says makes a nation and makes a, a community and a society uh, stable. We are unstable because we're throwing God and everything God stands for out the door. And the same thing with Pharaoh. Pharaoh had the problem that a lot of people today in our society have, especially the leaders at the very, very top. They don't believe God says what he means and means what he says. Oh, they use God when they want to use him. And they quote partial Bible stuff. And they talk about how religious they are. I don't care how religious they are. I want to know if they've got a personal relationship with Jesus Christ. And are they listening to God and then following through? And the same thing is true of every one of us. We have this idea that God uh, says things he doesn't mean. But I want you to know God says what, God means what he says and says what he means. And when we get that down and we understand that, it took Pharaoh uh, uh, the whole time that we look at the ten plagues and everything else. He never believed God meant what he said through uh, Moses and Aaron to the point that he did the dead man's float. Many of us are like Pharaoh. It takes not only a big stick to get our attention, but the use of it many times to move us. You know, I used to love Teddy Roosevelt. He said, uh, you know, uh, talk uh, quiet and carry a big stick. Well, we've got politicians now that talk loud and there's no stick at all because Everybody's, everything's running amok, and we're being closed in on by all sides in our, in our nation. But the worst thing is, is we're being destroyed from the inside out. Why? Because we don't believe God means what he says and says what he means. Do you need to just stop and get what it is God is telling you? I do not mean just to hear, but to do what he commands in his word. A lot of people will open the word of God, read through it, and then just disregard it. Or look for a feel-good moment. That's the problem we've got now, is we want this feel-good moment. We don't want God to tell us what we're doing wrong. We don't want God to correct us. We don't want God to tell us what we need to do. We just want God to say, good, you're so good, and you're doing so great, and I'm just going to encourage you to keep doing sin. No, that's not the way it works. Listen to God. How many times do we read his commandments? How many sermons do we hear and still refuse to act? Here, Brother Paul, the preacher of grace and the author of the book of the uh, uh, book of grace, Romans, Romans two thirteen. For not the hearers of the law are just before God, but the doers of the law will be justified. Now, this is Paul, who everybody uses to claim grace, grace, grace. But Paul also says what? He also says what? Not just to hear the word of God but to do the word of God. And our Lord's half-brother, James, from the book in the Bible that carries his name, James 1.22, but prove yourselves doers of the word and not merely hearers who delude themselves. I love that. I love that because that says exactly what we're saying today in a nutshell. But prove yourselves doers of the word, not merely hearers who delude themselves. Stop, first off, and make sure you're listening to God. Secondly, 
Make sure you're hearing what he says and make sure you know in your heart of hearts God means what the word says. Life will turn out a lot more harmonious if you do. You will find that peace that surpasses all peace no matter what's happening around us when you are doing what God tells you to do when you read his laws and his commandments and his statutes. And when that still small voice, the Holy Spirit overrides your loud voice. Dear gracious Heavenly Father, thank you for the assurance that you are in control. We just have to listen to you and do what you tell us to do. In Jesus' name we pray.